while we wait, uh, we can talk about some of the major challenges that we've identified that's affecting our MSMEs. Uh, we do know that we have many challenges. And good morning to our we viewers. Can, we are uh, live at the Ministry of Tourism, Tourism International so Transport and are, Maritime Initiatives, Business to Business Forum, MSMEs. Day 2. And with us we have you Mr. Walter. Mr. Walter, good morning. How are you? Well, I'm doing quite fine. Morning. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. So talk to us about today's day two of the Business to Business Forum. Okay. So first of all, um, I welcome your, your viewers and good morning to each and everyone. Um, welcome to the second day of the Business to Business Forum. I'm hosted by the Ministry of Tourism, Tourism International, Transport and Maritime Initiatives. So today we will be, we will be, look, we will be providing you with two sessions. One on service-oriented um, focus group discussions and the topic areas such as non-financial services available to MSMEs, fundamentals for operating MSMEs successfully, and understanding regulations and requirements for MSMEs in the open session. All right, and that will be from 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Sorry. Then um, from two o'clock we will be having the, in the investment financing session, and we will be looking at investment financing currently available to MSMEs and also future prospects for investment financing targeting MSMEs. Awesome. So right now, we are in the section where we have business support services. We also have some exhibitors there as well. So right. if you turn towards this direction, yes, yes. Um, if you walk with me. As well, we're hearing the, the TV exactly. that's showcasing what's going on upstairs where we will be very shortly showcasing the different sessions that are going exactly. on to highlight MSMEs. Definitely. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So, yes, so, so... So here we have institutions like um, Big Bang. Right, right, right. We have and they represent the Public Bureau of Standards. We have the Dominica Youth Business Trust. Yes. And we have Miss Charles from the Dominica Youth Business Trust. How are you, Miss Charles? Awesome. Can you give us one reason why persons should join BYBT? Well, BYBT offers something that I would like to call a gem, and it's in the form of a loan guarantee facility. So what we do, we support youth entrepreneurship by offering this loan guarantee facility where we act as a co-signer to the young person who would like to get a loan at any sort of financial institution. So we have partnerships with NDFD, Aid Bank, and the various NCCUs across the country. So once you complete any training program from UIT, you are then able to access that loan guarantee facility. And we sign up to $20,000. So you then are able to access that loan to help you start off a business. And we also support, we also provide mentorship that supports um, helping you develop yourself as a professional to really support that continuity of your business. So we do that through a training program, business mentorship, business plan development, so just support and promote viable businesses. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle. And persons that are listening, remember to check out DYBT for your small business needs as well. We have the Dominica Bureau of Standards here and their representatives. Ladies, can you talk to us a little bit about Dominica Bureau of Standards? Okay, so at the Dominica Bureau of Standards, we have various services that can meet the needs of manufacturers and hardware processors. We have Dominical code alcohol practices. So this is the 
agricultural production and process. We also have the GMP, which is good manufacturing practices. And we also have the certificate of resale, which um, persons can use if they want to export their product. Um, we also have the um, biodegradable certificate, um, certification scheme. So if anyone wants to import biodegradable products, they have to visit the certification division. We also have the laboratory um, and at the Bureau, we have two labs, we have the chemistry and the microbiology lab. Um, we, a lot of tests are done at the microbi lab. Um, manufacturers and agro processors would bring in their samples. They would bring in samples such as soil, water. Um, they would also bring in samples such as cosmetics, like shampoos, body, um, body soaps and stuff like that, and also lotions. Um, we also test food samples, any food samples. Um, the manufacturers would bring in their, um, their samples and we would test. We could also we test for alcohol content as well, in alcohol, such as punches, um, any such as alcohol. Um, we also test um, um, soil, we also test the bacteria in soil. We do that as well. Um, we also do nutritional facts to find out what's in those samples and we also test when the samples are going to expire. We also test, we also do a lot of tests in the chemistry lab, but it's it's a lot more tests done. But it also depends on what the um the manufacturers or agri processors want. Get to get. Awesome. So basically, the Dominica Bureau Standards is the quintessential regulatory body for small businesses, ensuring that everything is up to par and persons who are registering their small business has to make sure they go through Dominica Bureau Standards. Amazing. Thank you so much, ladies. And persons, again, I encourage to come on down, check out the booth for DYBT and the Dominica Bureau Standards to ensure that they are up to date with the necessary requirements for starting a small business and we're making our way back to mr walter right now who is at the Dom invest dominica authority booth and the invest dominica authority booth is right here for the people who are interested in finding out more information regarding the invest dominica authority we have a representative here who is available for your information all right as well we are moving across and we have the beyond optimal wellness booth as well we have a vast variety of literature that is available for persons who are interested in finding out more about beyond optimal wellness later on we are going to have the doctor who is here she's going to be discussing right now she has a representative so if you're coming down a little earlier than normal you can feel free to talk to her beautiful representative this morning as well we're going to move across and again we have the dhta which is the dominica hotel and tourism association and they have the paraphernalia as well available also you can find out how to become a member with the necessary paraphernalia that is on the side as well we have the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce and their representative as well all the ladies are looking very beautiful today and they look like they're ready to give you some solid information regarding your small business so please come on down and check out what they have in store as well there is a DAIC membership application form that is available and QR codes for persons who are more into the digital aspect thank you so much ladies and remember to come and check them out and we're going to move across as well so we're moving across to NDFD NDFD as well they are doing Big things for small businesses. Everybody knows that NDFD is the place to be, the place to go for your small business, agricultural and farming and fishery loans. So ladies, tell us again, what does NDFD stand for? The National Development Foundation of Dominica Limited. Awesome. And what's new with NDFD? We have the green loan going on right now. And it's actually available for farmers, fisher folk. So we encourage persons to come down to the NDFD 9 Great Mountain Street and get more information on that. And also we invite any small businesses to register for Curl in the Street, which will be the 21st of October this year. Wow. So Curl in the Street, that's an initiative from NDFD. Yes, yes. Um, awesome. We missed out the last two years because of COVID. 
and then we may start in 2017 because of Maria. But okay, so we're on again for Curl in the Street as well. Please check out NDFD for the green loan. We also invite everybody to monthly activity. So Curl in the Street is a yearly activity. Right. But we have a monthly activity called the Marketplace where we have different small businesses coming to set up outside the NDFD to yes. display. And persons can get their products at factory prices. Awesome. So as well, you're highlighting agro-processing for this for demarcated this place. One, yes. And the next coming one should be the 30th of September. We will be highlighting our coming agro Ooh, So we have so much in store from NDFD. Yeah. There's a lot new. There's yes, a lot yes. new. So we've got the green loan. We've got the marketplace. And it's every month then. Don't be mistaken. So it's from the 2nd of September. You guys are going to be featuring agro-processing for this yes, month's yes, marketplace. Yes. That's tomorrow. So do not miss up, guys. As well, registration for Creole Industries is open. Make sure you check out NDFD at Great Marlboro Streets. Make sure you check out NDFD and as well come on down to their booth if you want additional information on the green loan. We have the lovely representatives here. And now we're going to move across and we're going right now to the Dominica Social Security. Dominica Social Security, as a lot of persons know, is a powerhouse in Dominica when it comes to loans financing and the future of our Dominicans. So we have a lovely representative with us and persons who are interested in finding out with reference to the benefits and the self-employment opportunities that the Dominica Social Security has to offer, please come on down, check out what they have. There's useful information, pamphlets, and brochures for business owners as well as employees employers things that you need to know when you are entering the working world and you are trying to maintain a certain standard for your business as well as all the amazing benefits for your retirement and any loans that you may take for education or for your business Dominica Social Security has you covered please 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 come and check out the booth any questions that you might have they have a representative here with them today please do not hesitate to come and check them out all right Right. you have anything to add? I just want to urge all the employers and self-employed persons out there to come in and get registered. Register your employees. At the end of the day, it's a huge benefit for them. So you only to take advantage of that. Okay? Right. Thank you so much. So again, the Dominican Social Security is available. So we are going to move across now to one of the premier businesses for food in Dominica, the Cassava Man. And the Cassava Man is here and this is his prices for persons who are interested. His regular price list and he is here at the Ministry of Tourism, International Transport and Maritime Initiatives Business to Business Forum. He's going to be here all day. So if you are interested in getting some cassava, come on and check out the cassava man. And here is the man himself, the cassava man. How are you this morning, Mr. Cassava Man? How are you? How are you? Awesome. So I see you're making a pizza now. Oh yeah. Wow. Best pizza on the land. Best pizza on the island. And then we don't matter what nobody sees. And this one is veggie. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you have to go to right in front of your eyes? What we call Roro. Get ready in like five get minutes. To no. yes. Settlements are really seamless from the platform. And, and I was well seen. So can you tell us a little bit about the, 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 the Cassava Man? Where you started it off? You know, what is the, the highlight of the business for you as an entrepreneur? Well, we started in Calibishi. Started in Calibishi. Yes. God allow us to expand. expand. Awesome. What we, we are now we provide training operating fully in town every day. day. We also do most work on a weekend, that's on a Saturday at the most work market. To help your business but grow forward. It's not an easy road, being an engineer. The payment gateway for tickets, but again, we're speaking about merchants, but it does not but only cater for merchants. If you really uh, want it, for you'll get it. Large businesses, small businesses, mom and pop. Doesn't shop. get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. Get better than that. I can cover it. So we by the time we finish up, that business should be ready and we'll get to see exactly what it is. Awesome. So the cassava man is showing us firsthand how he's making his pizzas and by the time that we're done, the pizza should be ready. Alright, so yes, talk to us. Well, cassava for me really started off in order. 
receiving is an idea is an idea that just click and I took it and I updated the whole kappa and firewood and fireside kind of vibe and we modernized the whole the whole process we incorporate a few of modern processes to process in the actual cassava itself in that grinding and squeezing and preparing the mash and then what I did was rather than just do the plain and the coconut we added ginger, raisin, cranberry, pineapple, chocolate different local flavors we mix with for cassava and we can say we have the best cassava on the island for sure. and, and to that we didn't just stop at cassava bread we went on and we do the wraps what we do with the wraps we add um, salt fish, smoked fish, smoked chicken, smoked herring, cheese and majority of your products are locally sourced is everything is locally yeah, the only thing we get from outside is the cheese is the cheese um, i have one contact for good cheese we but want to ensure they, they cannot really supply me as yet right. so that, that's the only thing we but as soon as we get our cheese locally so sourced everything 100 so percent everything will be will be from here so we we will also get um we plant as much of our cassava as possible but we also buy from local farmers yes. right now we do about between eight to a thousand pounds a week mm -hmm. so that's that, that's something that any farmer out there can, can jump on and look into right so cassava farmer yes the right. cassava man we take cassava from now we have also the long weekly. Weekly. So we take cassava week weekly. Weekly. So if you are planting you cassava and you are watching this live right now, oh, all are at the cassava man. man. Yeah. Yeah, you we, can we, reach we him at two seven six eight eight zero three. Right. And you can also find him in the streets of Rosa where he will be by making the by the old market where he usually mixes cassava. And it's so exciting to see you know taking something that started off in dominica as a simple a simple provision a simple grain a simple produce and we make it and manufacture it into something so large like you know cassava bread cassava wraps cassava pizza so what is something that you want to tell the aspiring entrepreneurs in dominica oh whatever it is you do do it to the best of your ability and always over deliver always over deliver and you're over delivering with this person oh yes I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Look at that sizzle boy. Wow. If you are not coming down to the Goodwill Parish Hall, the Centre of Fuentes Parish Hall, to this business to business forum, to at least get your hands on this cassava pizza from the cassava man, you are sleeping on yourself. Come on down and please make sure that you can, anybody is welcome, anybody can come on down. Check out the cassava man, even if it's that you come for, make sure you come to today's business to business forum. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Cassava Man, and all the best on your future endeavors. Thank you. All right, and now we're going to be moving across, and it's exciting to see so many of our businesses being highlighted here, and the different persons. Here we have Ms. Lizard Fabian, who is the executive director of the DAIC, and we are moving across to other small businesses. Persons are taking advantage of the information and the resources at their fingertips do not sleep on yourself come on down and check out this business to business forum right now we have amare home decor amare home decor is a small business in dominica that creates decor that excites spaces that is her slogan and we honestly believe her because are you seeing what i'm seeing like are you really seeing what i'm seeing the level of creativity that it takes to launch a business based on home decor is it, it has to be on another level and with us we have the proprietor and she is with us this morning can you tell us a little bit about your business well my name is Larissa Bob and as you have said it right we create decor that excites spaces we create decorative reefs for centerpieces and we do decorative pillow covers to match to make sets as you can see let me show you here we have the independent sets right here we okay. have the mattress so you have the reef you have the centerpiece and you also get a pillow covers, two pillow covers to make the set. Okay. Right? And then we have the African set right here. Right. Same thing. And we have the tropical set right here. We also have the pillow covers to match them as well. Wow. So you from outside in, we want to excite your space. Excite, excite, excite your space. Oh, yes. And we also make the 
for children, baby showers, you have girls, you have boys, and all the riffs can be customized according to what name or logo you want to put on it for your business door. And we can also do riffs that we put your family picture in the inside. Wow, okay. okay. So just come on down. So excite your space. Excite with your space with Amari Home Decor. That is exciting, boy. And again, to our patriot, our patriots, our patriotic Dominicans as well that are overseas, get your independence decor. You never know when you're going to need. Exactly. You never know when you're going to need a decor to demonstrate your culture outside of Dominica. So come on down. Check out Amari Home Decor. Let us support our small businesses thank you so much miss bob thank, thank you thank you, thank you. So all right and we've got another small business here we've got unlimited i create and miss loretta is, loretta is with us today and she is talking to one of her customers right now but we're gonna give her a chance to finish up and just showcase what she has i'm seeing a lot of these beautiful resin keychains right now and as well her decor is fabulous and fantastic Miss Loretta, how are you this morning? Talk I'm to good, us. I'm good, I'm good. Awesome, awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? Uni Unlimited I Create. It's a very unique name. It is a very unique business. Tell us about what you do. Okay, so basically my main focus um, is on resin products. And um, I'm honestly catering doing tumblers and wine glasses. But again, it's unlimited. So doing with resin, you can do a um, a variety of things. You do the keychains, you have the molds, um, there's so much you can do with resin. These lights up, um, that one glows in the dark, so you can put lights in there. Wow. Whatever you want done, basically. Loretta, let me stop you for two seconds. Loretta, you're making this? Yes. You make it light? Yes, you put lights in there. That one, like I mentioned, it glows in the dark. Wow. Um, so it all depends on the pigments, it's your choice of colors. Whatever you want done, you, I can make it come to life. That is very beautiful. Yes. Very, very beautiful, I must say. My tumblers, um, I do the acrylic and the stainless steel. Ah. So it starts off as this and can be turned into this. Right. This. Oh, wow. Yes. Um, I also do the snow globes. Yes. Right? So basically, if you have an idea, you let me know what you want. And you can make it come to life. And make it come to life. That's what we're about. Customization. The, thank you very much. As the business said, it's unlimited. unlimited. You are creating unlimited yes. creativity. So this is Thank you. So if, again, you want to commemorate your wedding anniversary with your wine bottle, you save the wine bottle. Loretta can put together a beautiful ornament for you with the lights, the resin, whatever it is. And the wine sets. That is beautiful. And what's an amazing to tell somebody uh, amazing way to tell somebody you love and appreciate them with a customizable glass, a customizable tumbler, a resin keychain. Personally, I love this one. This is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. As well, she can showcase the lights. And so the, it starts off as a, wow. yeah. okay. it starts up as a regular wine glass and can be turned into one of these. Choose wow. your colors and let the, the resin and the pigments do the magic. Exactly. <laughs> and we want to encourage persons, if you love what you see, do not just, do not wait. Come on down and if you cannot come on down, you can always contact Loretta at 276-3155. Just make sure that you contact her if you, you're on social media, right? Yes. Right. So Unlimited I Create. Make sure you check out what they have to offer as well. There's a slideshow to demonstrate what she has to offer. So you want something to reflect your personality. You want something to reflect your you want something to reflect, you know, a gift for a loved one. It is going to be something that you want them to remember. Unlimited I Create is going to do that for you. A Mare Home Decor is going to do that for you. Our local businesses in Dominica can do for you so many amazing things. Thank you so much, Loretta. And all the best today. Please, people, come and check out Loretta. Okay. Now, we are here with a business that we would have recently featured. This is Bloombox Dominica. Bloombox is a local business that...
highlights a lot of our agricultural needs and landscaping needs and irrigation needs and with us we have the man himself from Bloombox and he's going to tell us a little bit about Bloombox again. So talk to us, talk to us. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Well, welcome to Bloombox again. Like I said, Bloombox, we are Bloombox. We are about making farming available, affordable, and sustainable by way of the great Dominican. And our main focus is organics. Planting organic so it can eat healthy. Right. Eating healthy will live longer. Right. Understand that? So, what we need to focus on is all types of farming, like hydroponics, aquaponics, livestock, commercial farming, just name it, anything to do with farming. So Anything to do with farming, Bloombox can help you with that. Yes, and as well, they are taking a, a strong foot in the organic sector because they are trying to ensure that everything is organic for the farmers and the producers of our food. You know, the local persons who are growing their own food. Please come on down, check out Bloombox, you know already. If you cannot make it up, to Centre Roma, you can always reach out to Bloombox at tell us the number, please. Two three five three four eight zero. All right, all right. Two three five three four eight zero. Us online on Shop DM. At Shop DM, you can also get them. So, and if you're interested in visiting Bloombox, remember it's up at Centre Roma, and you can also sign up for a customer loyalty card. The it's customer awesome. loyalty card is free. And when you purchase, or when, sorry, when you fill in the form and you get your customer loyalty card, you can get so many discounts and deals from Bloombox on their wide variety of products they have. You can also get access to pH tests for soil. You get access to organic products for growing your crops. You get access to seeds. You get access to an unlimited supply of things as well. Bloombox does specialty orders for farmers if necessary. So check out Bloombox Dominica. Anything you want to tell the viewers again? One more thing, don't forget, you're planting and nothing can grow without water. Everything, like you know, the world is 70% water, your body is 70% water, so your plants need water to survive. Mm -hmm. So we also specialize in automated irrigation. Automotive irrigation is also a highlighted feature. High okay. feature at Bloombox. Okay. Landscape, you also do landscaping if you don't have the time. We, can, we have the time for you. So while you are at work, you come back home, you reach up to a beautiful nice garden, or a nice flower bed. And also, we have some, something special for the farmers. All licensed farmers who carry their license farmer card. Licensed farmers, mm -hmm. yes. Those who are registered, actually, I should say registered farmers, you come to Bloombox with your card, and very soon you are sending a store for you. But then you come with the card, any purchase, you automatically get 15% out. This is coming very soon for the farmers. Okay, so yeah, farmers can get a discount at Bloombox. Registered farmers can get discounts at Bloombox very soon. Yes, from the time you come with your proof of being a registered farmer, automatically you're entitled to discount. Awesome, thank you so much. So again, we want to encourage the farmers, the persons that are interested in irrigation, farming and agriculture to check out bloom box bloom box is going to cater to your needs if you are a licensed farmer very soon you will be entitled to a 15 percent discount at bloom box dominica remember to contact bloom box at 235 3480 thank you so much all right and again we want to highlight that the businesses here are you know just so amazing they are thriving you know, they're thriving in this space where they are showcasing what they have in store. And we have another business with us. And this is I Want to Live Healthy. They, oh, this program is always on the radio. And if you know this program, this Adventist program is amazing. I Want to Live Healthy is just doing... It, it's, it's an amazing campaign, I would say to highlight the importance of health of course yes. of course can you tell us a little more about it from your perspective okay i want to live healthy i'm the health coordinator priscilla prevo health director for the 
um, Health Ministries, East and Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. And I'm here today, this is a Diabetes Association booth, DOMDA. So we are partnering with DOMDA to present health and healthy living to the businesses, the small business, businesses that are here today and yesterday, of course. And we partner because we have strengths, right? The Diabetes Association uh, features education programs and support to persons living with diabetes, but also to help to um, present education and information to the public regarding the prevention, the management, especially self-management of diabetes. And so um, it's a good partnership with the health ministries of the Seventh-day Adventists. We have done several programs together and uh, we've seen great success at this. The, 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 the most recent is I Want to Live Healthy and you have seminars that involves um, education regarding not just diabetes, but all the non-communicable diseases. It involves um, screening, health screening, so here I have with me some of the equipment that we use. We have the blood pressure. Um, yes, here we check the blood pressure. We do the cholesterol levels that you can get your result in three minutes, within three minutes. We do the glucose monitoring, yes. And of course, we do the weight and body mass index as well, awesome. which is very, very important. It Everybody is. Everybody should have those information. It is. And we're encouraging persons to, you know, take advantage of the services that is being offered by the health ministries and the diabetes, Dominica Diabetes Association. For sure. So and you we walk across to the, the, the poster board and showcase yes. that, you know. Dominica Diabetes Association, Dominica. Again, self-management is the key to healthier living and knowing your status with regards to diabetes, just like other non-communicable and as well communicable diseases, it's important, it's important, for sure. Certainly, so because the non-communicable diseases puts persons at greater risk and the worst outcome if they develop communicable diseases, as we saw in COVID-19. Um, COVID yeah? So the, if we can prevent, manage, and even reverse those conditions, because now we know that they can be reversed with lifestyle intervention. Right. Lifestyle intervention is also a very key and important area of managing one's diabetes, hypertension, whatever non-communicable disease that you are living with. Yes. And of course, we have Nurse Priscilla Privo with us right here to give us that information live and direct. If you want to come and talk to her, have a one-on-one, -on -one, a heart-to-heart, -heart, she is right here at the Business to Business Forum. She's going to be here for the day, yes. highlighting and discussing how to manage your diabetes, how to manage your non-communicable disease, how can you live healthy and have a productive life. Definitely, of course. definitely because if you have a business, you want to ensure that you are healthy, to conduct this business. Exactly. You also want your staff to be healthy, you want your customers to be healthy, sure. so all of that is very important. And just to note, although we have on the poster here um, diabetes, but it, hypertension is also um, included in that as well. Yes, yes, for sure. And as well, we know high statistics of Dominicans are suffering with diabetes, hypertension, and we have to ensure that, you know, our future generations are securing themselves. Definitely. And one of the things we look at is risk factors. You know, what are the risk factors right. of this condition? Like genetic predisposition. Yes. Right, and right. Overweight and obesity. Obesity, right. Unhealthy eating. Right. Lack of exercise. Lack of exercise. Right. All those things contribute to those conditions. And we want to reduce the incidence that is the number of new cases, as well as the prevalence, the existing cases of those conditions on the island. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ms. Mrs. And we are encouraging persons to come and find out more information. Check out Domda, check out Ms. Priscilla Privo and the I Want to Live Healthy campaign, as well as other health campaigns from the Dominica Seventh-day Adventist Church and their movements. All right. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right. God bless. The community of... of
of um, Kolyho and uh, and Sufria will be bringing this program to them very soon and they, in this month, just on the 10th and 11th of September, we are launching this program. Awesome! Very nice. Thank so you. we're looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Ms. Priscilla Primo. You're welcome. All the best. And persons are encouraged to come and check yeah. out. So we are going to move across now. We're seeing more businesses are coming to settle themselves and we are going to have a little more conversation with the different businesses that are here as well we're going to move up sales very shortly and and right now we are moving across to the multimedia and marketing company which is known as glow show and if you don't know glow show then you don't know because the Glow Show fellas are really producing quality content for the consumption of Dominicans and we want them to tell us a little more about their business. Talk to us. So basically, it's Portsmouth based, but that's because you hail from the community of Portsmouth, essentially. Right. Ah, so you guys have your studio there, and persons can come on, contact you, and make arrangements to come up and do what they have to do for their business. want to advertise your company, you want to highlight a product, you want to highlight your business, check out the fellas with Glow Show Multimedia and Marketing. Let us not forget that we are tra we're taking a decentralized we're taking a decentralized approach. You know, so it's not just Rozo, we've got the fellas in Port C, they're making sure that, you know, everything is accessible. So you're coming out from Pebush, you're coming out from Margot, you can make it to Port C showcase your business we have a lot of entrepreneurs from that area everything is not only in song so it's important as well for us to support glow show thank you so much guys and we want we look forward to seeing what you do again glow show is doing it big so come on down have a consultation with them don't waste time come and talk to them look at one of the things that they would have done if you want this done for your business come to the good parish hall Take a seat right there in this chair and speak to the fellas for Glow Show Multimedia. Alright, and now we're going to make our way up here. So that we can look at the different businesses we might come back down very shortly as well so we've got the lovely ladies from M Laja and they are just making their way upstairs as well as I am and we are going to follow what is happening upstairs we know there's a lot in store so it's not just downstairs it's happening it's also upstairs and there's a lot in store for persons and their businesses well, uh, I actually know some training at NDFD yeah. right. so I uh, oh, really so who trained you there and the small business person oh yeah there's I can't remember their names but one is a one is a one good looking red man from Vegas and the other one is some sh um, I mean cute Kalnago partner man. So thank you very much.
and this is one of the sessions that's happening right now. Now we're going to take questions for the three presenters. We're going to leave it all time to five minutes for that. So uh, in the meantime, the presenters for Pick, Pick Investment, uh, Digital Economy, and the Small Business Unit, please make your way to the head table and do all the arrangements as needed for. So if you are interested right. in coming down to check out the business okay, business forum, for you will be able to have a if seat. If I want to remind you, NBD, uh, Ms. Janshman, she spoke about getting started. She told us about trending as business, uh, trending as business account, trending on business accounts. She also told us about the mobile banking online platform. She told us about e-commerce. Uh, she also told us about, uh, well, the credit union told us about Enlarger, and Mr. D just told us about uh, development of entrepreneurs, technical assistance, and the remember started in 1981. So, any questions for this person? Any right. questions? Right now, we're having the question and answer segment of the session for the morning, as well, there will be a presentation from Peak Investments. So, Dominica is really thriving today at this business to business forum. So persons as well are asking okay, questions to the representatives uh, from Mlaja, NBD, uh, and like NDFD. Uh, All right. If you were to use the Mlaja product number, it's just it's a payment gateway, just like how you will have uh, PayPal or, or any one of those. Very shortly, we're so going to be walking across and introducing Mlaja. ourselves to, to the different business owners uh, and Mlaja highlighting Mlaja some of Dominica's different businesses that and, uh, feature handmade products and local so manufactured here, products and, have, and we want to look forward to all the amazing uh, ventures uh, that these businesses uh, have taken uh, on. We know that it's, uh, it's uh, a, a strong uh, fit uh, to be a local entrepreneur in Dominica so we're looking forward to now, seeing what they have in store. There are some other elements involved where uh, we're seeing that fees are becoming high with, with when it relates to card processing and transacting. And if we're bringing a solution that is going to cut that fee by 70 or 80 percent, then it, it, sometimes it, it feels like a step backward when you're moving a step forward. Um, so for now, the, the dynamics can change over time, but for now, all you need to have, have, have is an Emlaja account, or you need to have downloaded the app and have funds on it. Um, for the plugin, yes, uh, once you have WordPress, it's, it's a, if anybody has used a plugin before, they just simply go into your WordPress station. We send the package to you, you download it, and we have two tested, we have a test environment and we have a live environment. You just simply download it, use the test credential, we provide you with the entire scope as to how you do it. It's like a do it yourself, and um, we're there to assist you. Um, most of the integrations that we've done have been completed in under six minutes. Uh, once a person knows what they're doing. If they don't know what they're doing, then we can provide that support. But it's simple as downloading the packet, installing it, testing it, and then you, you pull through some products and, and, and that's it. More questions? We are working with one time. So, more questions? So the question and answer segment as well is... NDFD, NBD, and M. Laja. Can you hear me? Okay, all right, good. Um, for now, you see, charity begins at home. So we're, we are perfecting it here at home, but in a matter of months, we'll be extending it overseas. So our diaspora people in the OECs will be able to use it as well. So, but we're starting at home. We want to get it right, get it working perfectly, and then once we're done, then we're going to export. Okay. 
Small businesses to reach out to peak investment for All right, different so opportunities. I just want to agree to it that peak investments is a local business and we are about advancing people and supporting. Okay? So, my dear friend, I'm hoping to hear from you and all the others. Okay. Thank you. Let's put a while together for investment. At this point, we're moving on. We've got a time limitation. We have a presentation from the small business. Support you, the main organizers of this event. Michael Walters. Thank you very much, Mr. ATM. And let me commend you one time. I love to give people applause. Why is there a lag? 
Yeah. So you're doing an excellent job. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, I only have five minutes, so I'm just going to skip through. In terms of our services, we provide grant financing. Um, we, um, when you know grant financing, you don't have to pay back for it. Okay. Um, we are focusing on certain sectors. We have agro-tourism, um, health and wellness, uh, agro-processing and manufacturing, creative industries, um, and app and software development. Now, those are just the focus sectors, but it doesn't mean that we, we don't provide support to the other, to the other um, sectors. We provide, the, we provide support to the other sectors um, from a case-to-case -case basis. We provide training. And our trainings, we have three types of trainings. We have in-cohort training. We have out-of-cohort training, or what we call generalized training. And also we have um, um, spe um, specialized training. Now the in-cohort training is for those, per those persons who have applied to our program. They have gone through the approval process. And before they receive the grant financing, they would have to go through that, through that training. At that training, it is all inclusive. We provide um, support such as business uh, training, training on business legalities, um, financial management, marketing, customer service, um, business continuity uh, planning, and all the works. So it is all inclusive. The generalized training will take um, that same type, that same pattern, but it will um, target persons who haven't gone through our program. And we will be doing it from a regional basis, meaning that um, if we have a training at the Layo um, Resource Center, it will take into consideration persons from Salisbury all the way down to Tower. So that is what we mean when we say regional. Then we have a specialized training which is catered to um, individual, individuals and groups. But individuals meaning that it would have to be light. So light individuals are operating that similar type of business that will require that similar type of training. We organize those trainings specifically for um, those those persons. And also associations, we work with associations to provide them with training. Um, we provide assistance in terms of um, business registration documentation. You will hear more about the, the, the uh, business registration process and things of that sort later on from um, my comrade here. Um, but however, in terms of the documentation, we do the documentation. We prepare the documents for you that you take to the company's and intellectual property office um, to be able to get your business, your business name registered. We provide assistance in, 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 in respect to designing of business cards. Logos, product labels, and signage. We provide all those services to you. We collaborate with the private sector on that. Uh, so we're not trying to take food from anybody. All right, everybody, everybody benefits from it. Uh, we don't have every single service available within the ministry of within the small business opportunity. So we collaborate with the private sector um, to get those things uh, sorted out. But it is done at no cost to you. So you have your products, you need, um, you need your label sign out, you need your logos, you need uh, signage for your business. Because there are a lot of businesses all across Dominica. They operate, they are very good um, business, very good concepts and everything like that, but they don't have a sign. All right? We provide, we provide you with that sign and we go as far as installing it on your own building for you. All right? We also are providing some um, support in the creation of social media pages and accounts. A lot of businesses need um, visibility and they don't know how to go about the, um, organizing a, a, a business account for themselves. We assist them in, in, in terms of creating it and putting the initial con uh, content and then we teach them how is it that they manage it so that they can um, be independent um, on their own. Then we provide uh, fiscal incentives, fiscal incentive licenses for businesses um, with a gross net income of $250,000 and below. 
Okay, so basically each, each and every business of yours inside that should be able to benefit from that. Okay, so um, the, the, the process for that is that um, someone would have to come in, Mr. Mr. Hn is responsible for concessions. All right, so the person would have to come in, sit, sit in with, with, with an officer, and uh, the officer will provide them with the application form, guide them through the process, what documents that they will require to submit. That goes for an application process. Once that is approved, the, the license is, 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 is prepared. But before we hand the license, we have to get what we call um, a master list. So a master list of all the products, of, of all the um, equipment and uh, the, the base products, the supplies that you require in the development of your own products. All right, and once you provide that to us, then that is subjected to approval. Once it is approved, then the license is provided to you. Now that license can be for a period of six months, it can be for a year, it can be for three years. Then we assist in the development of your business plan. All right, as we all know, a business plan is your roadmap. That is what you follow. All right, that is what you are meant to ensure that you stay on course and you are successful with your business. We assist you with that, with that um, type of support. But um, we don't do the business plan for you. We assist you in it along the entire process. Because it is essential that a business, um, the, the business person is integral in the process of, the, of developing the business plan. All right, so at the end of a long day, that person can take ownership of that document. We also provide assistance in accessing government services. So you may, you may require certain services from the government, but you don't know where it is to acquire it. We provide you with that, with that type of guidance. We call the necessary persons and send you to the necessary persons so that you can get those um, services that you require. Um, without any hassle. Um, provision of assistance in product certification and testing. And that is something that we will be doing more of in this financial year. Alright, a lot of a lot of the products they are not um, or I shouldn't say that. I should say a lot of, 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 of manufacturers have multiple products and they may be able to certify one or two, but they may not be able to certify all of them. We assist you in the certification and testing of those products. All right, so we pay, we pay for it for you. So then again, it's, it's at no cost to you. We are trying to make things easier for you. So the money you save on those things, you can utilize them in um, in other on, in other areas of your business of your business. Then we have um, business advice and handholding assistance, and that is something that we provide year round for the businesses. All right, there, there, there are business persons who come in without the idea of where is it to start. And we provide them with that type of guidance and we lead them, you understand, along the right path. So that at the end of a long day, you understand, they can be successful, they can employ somebody, they can create that local, that rural economy, all right, that, that we are speaking about. All right, so um, I saw that I was giving the sign that my time is up. Note, I can, I can speak for the rest of the day, but I don't have more time, so thank you very much. Okay. And that was Mr. Thank Michael you, Walter Mr. for his presentation. Thank you, Mr. Walters. Uh, we are moving on rapidly. We will now have Mr. Robert Turner from the Digital Academy present to us on the non-financial uh, aspect of the digital economy. Okay, and while that's going on, we're just going to do a little walk through with regards. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here again. I hope that everyone here didn't hear me yesterday, so that I don't sound like I'm repeating what I'm going to say. But very importantly, in 2019, the government of Dominica uh, decided that the digital economy was very important for all of us. Now, one of the businesses we have with us here is Nature's Touch. 
and Nature's Touch is run by this beautiful lady here. Can you give us a little insight as to what we can expect with regards to Nature's Touch and your business? My name is Lisa Harris. Miss Anna Harris. If you're ordering, you're using your credit card, and you're ordering those items online. You're making payments for brokerage or customs online. So all the things that we're doing, we're doing it online to improve the ease of doing business and to make it faster. Not only for ourselves, but also for our clients. Not only for ourselves and our cooking, but also our customs, in our personal realm, we realize that during our COVID, our children started to use online classes. Uh, and as a result of that, we saw that many times we got bombed on the um, Zoom call where we saw certain people dancing with all sorts of lovely um, that we, stuff. That we so we also have to ensure and that we train our people in terms of cybersecurity so also that we can protect ourselves, our clients' information, and also our children and also our, our, our parents. You know, because sometimes, most times, we buy a food for our parents. We install the app for them, we download the app for them, and we show them how to make a call, how to use WhatsApp, and how to use Facebook. Other than that, they have no idea as to what to do. I know that you have a very popular Moringa facial scrub. Yes, I do. Okay, it's very popular. Actually, Moringa is a plant that's a chance of them getting the skin and for hair. This information loss. Even us as companies, we are obtaining people's data, not the credit card data, but their information. And someone can actually have our systems now and steal all our data. We have accounting software. Thank you so much, Mr. Harris. So Nature's Touch is one of the businesses that you will meet when you come to this symposium here today. Stay tuned to what this amazing business has to offer. So imagine that you were going to the bank and they told you to bring your your management accounts, and all of us have been And we're moving across the last six months to another amazing small business that we have here in Dominica and, and because we have the proprietor of I want to I want to pronounce it properly. Pronounce it for me. Ecla Nova Luxuries. Very nice. So I know that we're competing with a little bit of the speakers of the session, but can you give us a little bit of insight? Everyone in those audience a tablet device. So only two people so far. So the rest of us are not. But guess what? When they came to this exact same location and they were asking persons to pre-register and put their information on the tablet, there were many people who did not know how to utilize a tablet problem. So we've been listening very carefully and we can't assume that everybody has to do that. We also see many companies, even those of us that are here, do not have a full online presence to promote this their projects, their, their, their products, right answer here. questions on, on the fly, or to actually process so um, payments. Really, um, so we know that the like I said, is, 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 is trying to ensure that our people are not left behind because opportunity for business people always comes about when you see when the businesses are having a, a lapse, so right? So if I come to your company and see, she has no website, honey, I'll say that you don't. You have no payment processing no and information, you have no delivery. So it means if I can do it, and I can offer all these services um, you know, with my social media uh, posts, more than likely I'll be able to overtake right and grab part of your market. So we want to make sure, especially you as a business people, we provide the knowledge and education and then also be grants available for companies to be able to get into a more digital ready state. So we want to ensure that you are all listening to what's going on. So the government of Dominica recently um, created what we call our digital strategy. You make your own candles. Going forward, the digital strategy will be launched on this Right, December yeah. and we, jumping we fire. So our we digital strategy those. will be launched we have on September 16th. So we always ask everybody to listen to the online. Coffee. You have to listen. And if you listen, lots and lots of opportunities are going to pass you by. A lot of times you we listen to one particular channel. You have to listen to multiple well. channels of we information. Our top our organization is called the Caribbean Digital Transformation Unit. We're asking you to ensure that you go to our webpage, like and subscribe. Uh, so that whenever we have new posts, we'll know what's going on. If there are tenders going on to do X, Y, and Z, you're aware of it. If there are new things coming into place, you are aware of it. So yesterday I gave a quick rundown. Very importantly, 
we all of our laws have to be reviewed to make sure that all of us can do can have can be properly protected. Protected in terms of doing business, protected in terms of someone defaming you and you can actually sue them properly. Those laws have to be in place, right? So the laws have been reviewed. We have a separate team you that is actually doing that. They will draft the laws the next few and they will also provide and, really and present all the policies body so body that the existing teams of government can start going to have to try and do that plus the law. So we learn from all past mistakes and we try to ensure that it's so done very, very quickly. There's something called a digital identity. Everyone um, should have a digital identity and that's part of the way you will fall. Because you know many times you would do one government institution um, for your passport, one organization for your birth certificate, one other organization for your marriage certificate, one other certificate you can go for. Death certificate, license, um, driver's license. So now imagine if you have your you digital can, you identity, know, which means one government in, organization will know your data proof, your age, your picture, your fingerprint scan if that is approved, your facial ID, and your, your, your eyes, right? It means if I have to go to the passport office, they already have that information. So I don't need to bring my passport, I don't need to bring my birth certificate. I don't need to bring my mother and my father's books to the because they so they're available at the Glam Research IGA. Right, so imagine when you go to the bank, you will have a great sense of information to the bank because the bank will be giving access to those particular facts of the information to the criminal account. This is what the last one, same thing, even in terms of land title and registry, all of those can be incorporated together okay. so that they so, can have access to um, certain parts of the yeah, information the and they can confirm that Mr. Products, John Brown owns that particular piece of land, therefore I can give him water on uh, that piece of land. Because that individual has to go back to the Wasco, ask for uh, a, very, a, 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 a certification. So right all of these things will assist. So all the it comes to the very moisturizing. They won't dry out. And they and you have an accent so and no one is with you. It means they can take your fingerprint, they can do official ID, and they will know who you are. Types, and that will also tie in very nicely with our hospital management system. We also have a flavor. So that when you go to the hospital, Which they will know that this is Robert Tong that is lying down there, he cannot talk. But Robert okay. Tong has an allergy to penicillin. When he uh, takes penicillin or he's giving penicillin, um, his entire body gets like his stomach extremely big. And as a result of that, you actually milk, kill the person. And so that information will be readily available. It means you go to the health process, center, that information is available. So the exercise books that we all back in the day, and I mean you call today, you still have to carry the exercise book. And when you have the exercise book, you're going to the health center, you just have to write in that exercise book. We've done a lot of studies, yeah? they, they, they write in that exercise book about six well. times. So we right? Are very so just imagine if we do all of these things, yeah? how efficient our services are going to be. Digital and signatures. So instead of you having to go online and fill out an application form and sign it, you will be able to sign it digitally, which means you can send your form in, it can be accepted immediately to move forward from that standpoint. So a lot of things are being put in place increase the ease of doing business. But very importantly for you as individuals, we talk about training, we will have 15 training centers where if you don't have a device, if you don't have internet, you can go into those centers and learn from the basics to intermediate and to advance. So there will be no more excuses. We want to make sure everyone has a fighting chance. Thank you so, so much, Ms. Athenas. And we look forward to seeing more from your brand as well as getting more persons to come on down. Um, I know the background noise is not so loud, but I hope that We're persons take the opportunity to actually come here today to have a discussion with you Deloitte, as well as to purchase you know, some of your products that you have available. I personally am looking forward to utilizing an aromatherapy candle because they look so good and they smell so good as well. Thank you so much. And there's the Talk opportunity well, for them to have paid internships. So many of you are here right now. You need someone to create a website. You need someone to do your calls. You can actually get those persons to come and work with you. And the government of all people will be through the World Bank project will be paying those interns to help you take your business from where it is to the next level. But again, if you're not listening, right? And all these things are being put in place. It means um, someone else is going to capitalize the bias to what is happening at the front before continue we continue. To Please join our small our, businesses our page and listen. I will also be giving out bags. I will have all of our information on it. Please save that information. 
those of you who are interested in creating um, software, we also have grants that will be available to create um, specialized businesses. Many of us inside of here, we really need some type of point of sale system that's easy and affordable, that's online. We need an accounting software that's affordable and online. I use QuickBooks, but not everybody feels it's um, important for them to pay that kind of money. So again, these are opportunities for someone now to say, hey, let me create that accounting program. Let me create that um, um, point of sale system. Let me create that um, customer relation system and let all of them talk together so that our small entrepreneurs can have the best types of systems. So all of these things will be available. So my final word to you is, there'll be tons and tons of training to help you, to help your staff, to increase their educational level so that you can compete toe to toe with the new entrepreneurs that are coming into the market and also those who are going to see the opportunity from outside and come to Dominica. So again, thank you very much and please listen when we have our educational series, our town hall meetings. Please come to them so that you can be updated and you'll know what's going on. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Tom. Uh, Mr. Tom, could you just make yourself to the head table uh, so that we can get questions. Any questions for the SBSU, Mr. Walters, uh, peak investment, or digital economy. Questions, comments? Question, comments, please. For these three persons. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, good morning. I have a question for uh, Mr. Mr. Tom. Uh, I just want to know what's, what's our, uh, or what's your group's stance on uh, cryptocurrency and the crypto, crypto market. Because you know, it's, it's, it's now a big part of the um, digital economy. Although there are you know, a lot of parties that are not really buying into it. But I just want to know your stance and what are we doing with you guys? So, hello? Okay, so the government of Dominica, I guess I have to give my official spin on that. As you realize, certain regulations have been in place to ensure that our people are protected. You must have protection in place. However, cryptocurrency comes from the standpoint where persons want to have what they call decentralized systems. So cryptocurrency came across where persons did not want to be regulated. But if you want to get the best adoption, it is going to have to be regulated at some type of level. Cryptocurrency basically is a form of a business schedule for investment or it can also be used to move money from one place to the next, pay to pay. So if you're doing pay to pay transactions, it makes it very easy, very secure. If you're using it for um, investment, then you have to use money that you can afford to lose. Do not go and take a loan because it's very, very volatile. Whereas the stock market might swing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 percent, the cryptocurrency is going to swing up to 30, 40 percent. We're seeing it right now. So when you invest in cryptocurrency, you have to invest for the long haul. Based on my experience, I've done it. If you try to day trade, you will lose a fair amount of money unless you're there 24 7 following every dip and strike. So again, if you want to go into there, go in for the long haul. Also, listen very carefully. If persons are selling you systems and the system is making you make money from recruiting other people, that is a multi-level marketing system and not truly cryptocurrency. So when persons come to you and they, they sell you all the bells and whistles, ask them one simple question. Show me your portfolio, show me how much money you've made from the investment. Okay, thanks Mr. Tom. Uh, any more questions, comments for the presenters? Uh, we have Mr. Walters from the SDSU. He told us all the wonderful services being offered by the SDSU. Uh, we have Mr. Tom. We heard our presenter from uh, the investment. There's got to be some interesting questions. There's got to be some comments. Comments? Hi, good morning. Question for Mr. Walter to expand on the fiscal incentives and when it will be available and what's the process. Mr. Walters, I like the 
Okay. Um, when you say expand, what do you mean? Now, while the Q&A is going on, we're going to just move across to talk to one or two other well, business persons. Um, we want we to highlight and ensure that everybody gets a chance to be featured. So, as well, remember that we have Nature's Touch and a Eclat, Global Luxuries, and right now we have our local honey producers and we have Mr. Nathaniel Lovell, right, right, and the name of the business is La Vime, okay. So can you tell us a little bit about La Vime? La Vime is, uh, is um, from Fully Mystery. Fully Mystery, uh, okay. We specialize Dividing our honeys by season. Dividing the honeys by season. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. Okay. So we have the honeys. I just wanted to ask him for his um, the spring honey. Okay. As far as for the number or location where you're located, so we can get in touch with you. Mr. The cream honey. The cream honey. Okay. Mr. So what is information and location telephone number? Ah. Right. So you can put it in your brand or taste. You can put it in. A pastry? Can, yeah. Okay. Hello? Hello? Okay. So if you want to access us, you can access us at sbsu. And the honey is available for purchasing the small containers and the larger containers. And that's uh, the link to our website. And everything is locally sourced and manufactured. You can also call us at 266. Local honey. Untreated. Untreated. Very I wish you could say organic, but you have to go through. You can email us yeah. at uh, <laughs> registration sbsu at dominica.gov.dm. And the honey and the products are available and for purchase. If you want to uh, yeah, have a face, face direct sales. you can find direct sales. Okay. No questions. Um, Z um, Z My question is for Mr. Walton. Um, I want to I want to say the right thing, but I want I won't bite my tongue. So yeah, but I talking to a few places too. Right, right, right. Okay. As well, I want to showcase your beautiful poster so that persons can reach out. Um, so anybody who is interested in locally sourced ministry. honey, please so contact Mr. Lovell and his team. They are from Kulibi Street. You can reach them at 245 0655. And, 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 and you can find them on Facebook at BAPDM. It's very clever. BAPDM. Alright. Thank you so much, Mr. Products, and or, uh, now we are going to move across and we have the 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 entrepreneurs who are again highlighting uh, the businesses um, and they are doing their thing and I'm seeing Tracing Handbags Dominica, I'm seeing this amazing creativity on display and with us we have the proprietor of Trishi Handbag Dominica. Hi, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Excited because I'm seeing these fabulous handbags. Can you tell us a little bit about Trishi? All A very wide variety, I must say. Yes. And you know, independence okay. around the corner, so Beautiful. And we also put the local artists because you can see our live band right here. So this was made by a, a local artist. The local artist was the plantation. So we put our lion band. Lion band. Yes. 
Wow. And your products are available for purchase? Persons can contact you all? Okay, so you more questions. The telephone number is 77 225 223. Okay, thank you so much. And we know again our viewers are watching on Facebook right now, so they can swing across to your page, Trishik Dominica, Trishik Handbags. Dominica and get their handbags just in time for any independent season. Well, when I ask you right this time, if you still incentives, this is going to have a uh, black eyes to when you import, when you import stuff. In terms of what you're speaking about them, probably some pain or something, if someone is initiating, you have to be able to Right now, again, we're moving across to Tina's Touch, Tina's Punch, and that is... Uh, Again, I, I'm just loving the variety of creativity that I'm seeing here. First of all, this lime punch looks exotic and I'm... Wow! Are you doing samples? <laughs> the, oh! You see? Now, here we have, I assume, Miss Tina of okay, Tina's Punch and her staff with her today. And can you tell us a little bit about it's Tina's Punch? Okay, uh, it's distracting. The same way we could be a big well, party have in the back. Well, I different um, variety, different flavors. There's a lot of nice things coming up. And you guys are from Tibo. Yes, we are from Tibo. Please, please pause so let's get a bit more point in the back. And then we also have the... Well, well let's just start uh, our presenters. Is the best let's seller is the Creamy 5. Creamy oh. 5? Yes. Ooh, what? Can we find out what is in the Creamy 5? Talk to us, talk to us. Okay. Uh, if you take a look at that one, you see, you see the list of ingredients. Yeah, we the so we're going to hold it up, if that's okay. And show the viewers what's in the Creamy 5. So we've got the rum, the cannabis, and other spices. Wow. Okay. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. Because listen, this punch is so, so delicious. My mouth is even watering. That is how delicious they look. Wow. When you're ready, we have some. Oh, great. So, for persons who are coming down, make sure you come to the Business to Business Forum and check out Tina's Punch. Make a beeline for Tina's Punch if you have to. And get a shot of the creamy five, the coconut, the peanuts the variety of punches that Tina has available and of course it's available for order so persons can get bottles okay and you all can reach Miss Tina at 2659583 as well you're on Facebook at Tina's Punch and they can also send you an email I'm sure persons coming down for the independent season you want to have your punches you want to have your alcohol locally sourced alcohol for the independent season when you're hosting your friends, your family, or for you to smuggle in your suitcase when you come in down. But those say it's Hemo that tell all you that. Alright, this is amazing. And Miss Tina, we will be circling back so we can sample that punch. Alright, thank you so much. Okay. And now we've got Mr. King's punch. And I'm lo I'm loving what I'm seeing here today with the local punches. But as if all you want MO to get two windows to play yet. No, no, no. But in all honesty, this is amazing. And we are really loving what we're seeing with the local punches. So we've got King's Punch as of now. And as well, we've got the proprietor. Good morning. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? Okay, my name is Kevin Benjamin. Mm -hmm. I'm the owner and founder of Mr. King's Punches. My name is Stephen Benjamin, I'm the owner and founder of Mr. King Sponges. We produce a large variety of different flavors, premium flavors. Mm -hmm. So far we have over 50 flavors. Over 50? Yeah, we focus on the six. Okay. Yeah. You can get this product. So far we have our stout. stout so if you want to get your stout punch, 
Ooh. And that one says lovely in a shodo boy. Wow. Oh, it's almost like a shodo. It's um, it's basically a shodo. Yes. All you have to do is add your eyes. Yes, lovely, sure. okay. Uh huh. Uh, peanut punch. We've got the peanut punch. You can see the quality. Yes, the boy. King stands for quality and consistency. Wow, that's thick. Uh huh. Uh huh. We have lime punch. Lime. Ooh. One thing I'm loving is the local punches. The local punches. Okay. Uh huh. Um, besides punches, we just getting into Wabade. Okay. So we welcome coming. Uh -huh. That's exciting, that's exciting. Smaller bottles and bigger bottles. Wow. So it's not just punch, it's also bois body. I love to see it. I love to see it. And besides the punches, we're looking in going into brewing our own alcohol in time. Okay. So Mr. King's punches is not just punches. Y'all are diversifying into the alcohol, period. Alright, so we're seeing you have the punches, you're getting into the Boabade, and now you're going to do your own alcohol very soon. I'm assuming that is what this fancy machine is for. A distiller for the alcohol. So very soon, Dominican independent season is around the corner. Get your Mr. King's punches for you to go back home after you come down for independence, or if you are making sure that you are hosting your guests properly, get your punches. All at Tina's punches, all at Mr. King's punches. Get your variety. On a Sunday morning, you don't need to go and look for the Guinness to make the show do. Buy the Mr. King's stout punch. Put some ice in that and call it a Sunday morning after church. Thank you so much, Mr. King's punches. All right. And our creativity as Dominicans never cease to amaze me. With us, we have a, a regular person. We always see with Emo News, Miss Vanessa Winston. Miss Winston is a very creative, a very creative Dominican, and we want to highlight her local, her locally made jewelry and decorations. And we just love what she has in store. Miss Winston, how are you this morning? How are you this morning? All right. So you want to tell us a little bit about your again your amazing products that you yourself are making for persons who are interested in purchase. So it's beautiful. Well, as usual, you know, I have a local jewel. I have a paper piece made out of local wood. The wood is made out of wood. The wood is Right, and you made this yourself. Wow, collect that and I then this is a candle candle holder and you can even put a little flower on the side. Yes. So you have your candle here. It's a piece of local wood again. Local wood combined with the piece of candle. Right, right, right. So most of them is the your candles and we look at so we have the natural jewelry made out of natural pieces. Natural jewelry natural pieces and, and they are combined with copper, combined with leather, you we know, have our leather corset belts, we have leather belts, we have our combination with so leather and copper, with bands, leather and copper, bands, leather and copper, we have the, the copper, the copper anklet for some persons that have been paid with their hands and that kind of thing. Right. Sometimes so we want to use the copper, but we want to use the most time, we want to just see the copper, and we can just use the design in different places. So we have the copper anklet for some persons that have been paid with their hands and that kind of thing. Right. Sometimes we want to use the copper, but we want to use the most time, we want to just see the copper, and we can just use the design in different places. So you can, you can customize if you are so you to give somebody a gift, then you can customize it, you can customize it, so it's customizable, anything. Wow, okay. Yeah, we have some of our local soya candles, selling soya candles, so we have some of our local soya candles, so we have some of our local soya candles, so we have some of our local soya candles, so we have some of our local soya candles, so we have some of our local soya candles, so we have some of our local soya candles, so we have some of our the economic mm, price that you're offering today is there 
competition in the sector that you are going to participate in and how will you conduct this uh, competition? We look at capital and that is the level of the SMR versus your objections into the business. We also look at collateral because collateral is there to mitigate the possibility of support and the other right. call and this will go very nicely on a kitchen for you. Right. Something that was just placed so upon you. Situation changed, the loss of goals to the university, so other things are going to be in quality. So to mitigate this risk, banks have to share it. But for two days, the purpose of two days that I'm exercising is to get into the wedding candles again. We have introduced in collaboration with the Eastern Caribbean Credit Guarantee Corporation. We have a guarantee program which is tailored for small and medium sized enterprises who is trying to build up the business but they are basically operating on the street. So you have the business idea, you are functioning in 2020, but you have to get a shot of security. You may have your grandmother in the portfolio, she may not want to give you money from the land people. This product is geared towards you. All that is required for this program is just about 20 to 25 percent. So you want to hold your thousand dollars, all we ask you for is 25 percent. And that 25,000 could be cash, it could be property, it could be an assignment of the cash value of the mutual. On the inside, so that is right. You know, sometimes, yes, you look nice and everything, but you have your own edges. But you have your own edges. The ECPC GC Guarantee Program, there is a security requirement. But in recent times, we understand that the new business may not have security at 25% rate in the ability. That has still been adjusted 20%, depending on the type of facility you want. You also have the opportunity to feel that collateral over time. So in 25,000 worth of security, you only have 10. Based on the viability of the business, we can develop a single form of your unit. Contribute a certain amount of every month to pay that security. The bottom part of the coconut? So, this is that this is the product is going to share and it's something we expect you, you look at this is the thing that can be done. Do not let collateral or the lack there of to so prevent that you from coming forward and seeking financing for your business. Right. You may have a small business like that may have been doing by your mind. And the least need is to so be demand for your product to automate your survey, your mechanism, this facility and so do well. Less people or the people that we might consider nameless in society. So there are two categories of the guarantee program. Like we have the classic so guarantee. It started off at 300,000, but realizing that there are people who are not more than 300,000. Wow. So that is now so it does special. A very special piece indeed. It is gorgeous and it def definitely demonstrates, you know, how art is a part of healing for a lot of persons, and we love to see our local persons take part in these creative ventures. And for persons who want to contact Miss Winston for your creative needs, what if it is a new business? We used to have almost every home had an anti macassar in the back of the chair. Right. So you should be able to present your registration documents, your inland revenue and social security certification. You should also be understanding with the Bring back those important parts. Because as a former tax officer, tax payment takes precedence over zone payment. What you would not want is as a bank for an individual to probably be in poor standing with the state and they are not expected to lose the state and they call a garnishment for the from the state. So we ask for the beneficiary of the certificate. Alright, so once we can get a nice color thread or whatever it is to our a nice little pattern, whatever it is. Nice.
there is zero so if you decide well, this is a second of better than I anticipated, I want to close up that load, then there is no more chance for me to do it. Right, so it's industry or state or local government that is grants to do it. So it's industry or state or local government that is grants to do it. So it's industry or state or local government that is grants to do it. Right. Thank you so much, Ms. Winston. The support for the creative and, you know, in the creative agricultural and cultural industries is important. And we want to highlight Ms. Winston and her amazing efforts in promoting these aspects of our culture here in Dominica. I would really like to say hello to all of the Dominican and Sankran Producers Association members. So we are not going to forget that far because the Dominica and San Francisco Association, we are going to drive, we are going to be moving around because we want to be able to connect agriculture with our creativity because without agriculture, we don't have the seeds, we don't have the coconuts, we don't have all the different materials that we need to continue the industry. So we want to create awareness and let people know what materials are used in the industry and how we can preserve it. So we can make sure that we take care of it so the next generation and can have it. Your, Instead of going into plastic bags and all these things, we have seeds, we have clay, we have wood, we have all these materials. Let us use it. Right. We have our local materials. Let us use them. Let us create an avenue for our local people. Thank you so much, Miss Winston. And persons, please check out Miss Winston for your creative needs. You want to get proper jewelry for that pain in your ankle, in your foot? Come and get a copper anklet. You want to customize a bracelet for a loved one? Come and get it. You want a leather a piece to add to a keychain to commemorate something that you know it, it's been an anniversary of something that's important to you come and get a piece for that get your leather waist belt get your proper jewelry your locally sourced products are here and miss winston just like the other amazing creators are here at the business to business forum Come on down to the Gudo Parish Hall. It is a free event. Come down, bring your wallet and purchase so one or two of these items or get the contact information so that you can get these items for yourself. Let's bring back the culture. Thank you, Miss Winston. Right. And again, we want to highlight that you know, the businesses here are doing it. Recent time we launched the Moon Money and that is taking off. This is another product that does, that does not require any security. But for this one, it is more tailored and targeting the employees. We offer mortgages, of course, credit cards. So everything and, um, is really here to assist. I see something that piqued my interest so because, you know, in the Caribbean, CMOS is one of the most important things that keeps us going as a Caribbean people. It is a food that is so, how should I say it? It's not rare, but at the same time, it's so special. You know, it's not something you see every day, but it's something that when you get it, you need it. And right now we have Wild Crafted. Is it Wild? It's Wild Crafted. Caribbean Seamoss, and we have our proprietor? Yes, my name is Kamasha Sylvester. All right. I'm from, I'm from the same place as Emo New. All right. That's right. All right. Very nice. So, Miss Sylvester, tell us about your business. Um, what I do is package CMOS. We have the gold as well as the purple. Right. Now, CMOS contains 90 to 102 yes, yes. nutrients that your body needs. There is absolutely no other thing in the world you're going to get that contains all so the So, one of the biggest challenges so, with this um, um, product is the ability for persons nice to things. provide right. the financial information. We like nice things, we like nice things for real. The financial if you take a look at the, the record, you see Heart of the Caribbean. So Why Heart of the Caribbean? Because, because the idea, when CMOS is in large, it looks like world. veins. Yeah. So, you know, it's actually pumping. So, this is the Heart of the Caribbean. And as you can see, we have the the logo is a woman. A woman, right? Yes. Like you know the traditional Caribbean granny going to the super, going to the um, market to you know to sell our produce. So this is why we actually chose that uh, a logo that the Caribbean people could identify with. Right. Um, it is 100% vegan. 100% vegan. That's right. 100% organic. It is of course gluten free, as well as the packaging is biodegradable. So you know what? Very important, it's non-GMO. 
So we just trying our best to show the world that hey, if you don't with Simos, then what are you really doing? Exactly! You can incorporate Simos in everything. My girl, literally. So at the back, you know that some people um, would be incapable of uh, preparing it. So we have a direction, stove top directions, as well as a non-heat direction. That, and as well as pictures, just in case you can't read, the pictures right there showing you exactly show you how, how to use yes, the, the process. Right. Um, we have, of course, uh, the barcode. No, well, the QR code. My, pardon me, wait, the QR code. Yes, yes. So if, if you scan the QR code, it takes you straight to our Instagram page. Straight to the Insta page. Straight to yes. the Insta page. Wow. Show you what everything happening. You understand? Uh, this is the business to look out for in Dominica. Globally, as a matter of fact, our aim is to be on every shelf in every supermarket. Worldwide, I love it. So we, we are just starting, up. and that is our aspiration. So the aspiration is to build and build because really and truly, I think this is one of the more sustainable agricultural products that we need to look forward to. Oh, definitely, and you know everything could grow in Dominica as well as uh, within the Caribbean waters. So it's like we, we have the natural habitat for this. You don't have to feed it anything. You don't even have to give it fertilizer. So I mean. Yeah, let's use it to the best of our ability. We should take it by storm, you know what I mean? Let's take Seamoss by storm yeah. and let us support well-crafted Caribbean Seamoss. Yes, the brand is Hey Mama. Hey Mama. You can't forget it. Hey Mama. Because you should remind me of your granny. Oh, yes. <laughs> Out of the Caribbean, well-crafted. So this is the purple. Yes. And again, it is vegan. The packaging is biodegradable. It's a hundred percent gluten free, no GMOs, and one hundred percent organic. One hundred percent organic. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. As a matter of fact, if you don't have one, you're starting to go wrong. Get your CMOS. Uh, contact information 277-9587 I'll repeat 277-9587 277-9587 Yes, you can also contact us because via, via Gmail Hey Mama Products at hey gmail.com right. And your Insta? Our Instagram is Hey Mama Products Check us out on Facebook at Hey Mama Alright, so Hey Mama Products available on Facebook, Instagram Email them, give them a call, check them out Oh, soon to be on every supermarket shelf come September month. End. So look come on September it. month, end, catch Hey Mama, Wild Crafted Seamoss, and Future Products on every uh, shelf. Every shelf. In Dominica. You're going to get fed up of us. You're going to get fed up. But at least we know where people will live long with their Seamoss, yes? Definitely. Okay, thank Talk you. What about map and pointing? Map and pointing. Okay, All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. And the forum is thriving today. We've got so many local businesses and entrepreneurs here showcasing what they have in store. And we're looking forward to seeing what they have in store. Right now, we've got Joy's Cakes and Creations Plus. And it's so exciting to see this creativity, man. I'm seeing beauty, nothing but beauty. Can you tell us a little bit about the, this business? Okay, at Joy Cakes and Creation Plus, we do two segments, crafts and cakes. Crafts and cakes. Cakes for all occasions, including cupcakes. Right. We do hair accessories. Hair accessories, right? Right, right. We have different tables. We do table cards. We do napkins. We have all those napkins. Wash napkins. Dinner napkins. We also have pottery. Pottery holders. And these are the babies. That's our our latest product. That's a bit of banana leaf. So, this is banana, the milk of banana leaf. So, you guys 
made this from banana leaf? Yeah, banana wow. leaves. Wow. So that's all I left this product. Everything is handmade. And Everything is handmade. As well, it's a catering company and a deco company. That is as local as it gets. You can get your food and you still get in your stuff. Wow. That is exciting. So there's also local stuffed animals, customizable, crochet as well. You name it, you can probably do it. Wow. And you want to show? So Joy's Cakes and Creations Plus, they're really making a difference with taste, quality, and creativity. And you know, independence is around the corner. And I want when somebody invites us to an independent event for them to tell us they got their hair bark, they got their local, their local dining decor from Joy's Cakes and Creations Plus. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Joy. And we look forward to seeing what you have in store in the future. Of course, of course. And now we are moving across. And it is a thriving event. We're seeing so much from the different businesses. And we're going to move back down. And we've got, again, I am just amazed by how creative my people are, boys. So we've got Cecil's Handmade Craft. And again, we're seeing a variety of locally made products that are available for the everyday person to purchase. And with us, we have, I assume, the proprietor of this fabulous business. How are you today? You okay? All right. Is there anything you want to say about the business? There is always. What I would like to say about my business is that it's made from a unique a product called Lauma. And um, I have been doing it for over 20 years. 20 years? Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. So when one purchases uh, Alinago Craft, they purchase a piece of history. When you, it's true, it's very true. Anytime you purchase something from our ancestors, it is a piece of history with us. Very true. I mean, all types of bags. I'm seeing bags. bags as well as you see. I've just started incorporating leather. I said this to say. Wow. This. And I really hope that more persons, especially those that are coming down for our independence celebrations, can, you know, get their bags when they go overseas and they can showcase and say, I got this from Cecil's Handmade Crafts. To be looking forward to that. Of course. And the earrings, they're beautiful. Again, you want to put together a lovely outfit. It doesn't even have to be for independence. It can be for Christmas, Valentine's Day. New Year's, summer, this end of summer party, whatever it is, get it from Cecil's Handmade Crafts. Of course, thank you so, so much. Alright, and we are moving across. We've got the local businesses, the entrepreneurs, and they are up and down. Yeah. 
and I'm seeing nature fresh look. We're here with another local business that is really and truly taking Dominica by storm, I think, because when I go to Richard or Fresh Market, I know I'm seeing these products, these teas. And we're going to have a little quick chat with the proprietor. All right, Miss Defoe. Mrs. Defoe, how are you this morning? Oh, Doctor. This is Doctor Gail Defoe, ladies and gentlemen, who is taking Dominica by storm with these lo local teas. I must say, I love the cinnamon tea. It is delicious. I cannot get enough. Can you tell us a little bit about your business, Dr. Defoe? Talk to us. All the do is medicinal. So everything is medicinal. Although it looks good, although it looks good, I don't think it's it has a major medicinal So we do herbal changes, my favorite is cinnamon too. Yes, the cinnamon is quite delicious. So if it doesn't have a medicine or benefit, you're not putting it on the shelf. No. Right. Right. And again, I want to highlight that these products are available for purchase. You can find them at majority of supermarkets because I know for a fact that I there's one particular one I really want to... You want to highlight this one in particular? We have done it before yes. COVID. This is an outstanding product for COVID. For COVID? Have you heard from you that some people pay spending two and three hundred dollars for things that are available? This was used in New York City by doctors and nurses all through COVID until vaccines were available. Right. And this is really here in Dominica. And it's an outstanding product for both preventing and treating COVID. I know COVID's on the rise again. And look out for this product. Look outstanding product. For not only COVID, but for chest problems in general, for asthma and other things like that. Mm -hmm. So we can definitely look forward to, again, as long as you are there promoting your brand and the medicinal benefits of these delicious teas. When I tell you delicious, the lemongrass is delicious, the cinnamon is delicious, and not only that, but you feel a difference. I think I took the one for the digestion, and I think it definitely made a difference. So thank you very much, Dr. Defoe. Of course, all the best in your future endeavors for business. All right, thank you so much. And we're going to come across again to Rosmond Creole Sewing and Craft. Now, with us is... Rosmond, Rosmond Telemark, and Miss Telemark, how are you today? I'm fine. You're excited about showcasing your products, I assume? Yeah, of course I am. Of course you are. So can you tell us a little bit about your business? Um, I'm, I'm my business name is Rosmond Sonia Craft, which I started a couple years ago, and I'm still a trying and um, upcoming. Upcoming. Creative. Yes, but. As an upcoming creative, I have to say, your products are amazing. Thank you. Alright. And to the viewers, again, let us support our local businesses. Independence is coming down and a lot of our diaspora are going to be here. And we really want to ensure that we showcase what we have in the So 
the men, the women, the boys, the girls, you can check out these creative products. Rosmond Creole Sewing and Crafts. As well, I'm seeing the bonnets. You know, with our natural hair, we have to protect our natural hair. Get your bonnets as well. Mr. Osman, somebody on the live wants to know how much is your hat? How much is this hat or a nice shampoo? Oh, yes. Only 45? Handcrafted? Wow. And it's beautiful. Right now. But for independence, you know you're going to get your customers. Oh yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. And if you want to reach out to Miss Rosmond and her creative enterprise, you can reach her at Thank you so much, Miss Rosmond. And we're going to make our way across to more of the entrepreneurs that we have here. And right now we have Princes Local. And Prince is local. We have a lovely lady here representing us. She is a beautiful Kalinango lady, and I'm sure she is doing her utmost best to preserve our cultural heritage here in Dominica. Can you tell us about your business? Actually, um, I was a recently. Ah. Wow. So, um, I went to Amber Processes of Cocoa Coconut, so I have Cocoa Sticks and Cocoa Balls. Wow. So, Amber Processes, you know, Cocoa Sticks, Cocoa Balls. This is very beautiful. As well, I'm seeing the beautiful shirts and paraphernalia. A friend of mine has a restaurant in yes. Very popular and rising as well. I love it. Wow. Um, I went back to Kalinago territory. So I decided instead of leaving my two my two daughters unattended or worried worried about them. So I did a couple of things of these products and then I handed it and I started it with coconut oil. Coconut oils that you made as a means of making an income to support your family. That is amazing. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. And while making the um, coconut oil, I did a little more research into doing other medicinal oils or oils that we can use for different purposes. Mm -hmm. So I started also making the carrot oil. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's it's good for skin lightening. It's good to treat dry skin. skin. And I have been using it myself. People have dark spots around your neck or your face or your side. You can use that to help to remove the spots. Right. So I'm seeing a variety of oils. I'm seeing you have the cocoa sticks and the cocoa balls. And can you just 
to show us one more time the information about your products so people can know where to contact you because they need to contact you. It's as simple as that. Of course. So my, I am located in Massacre, Kalinago Territory. Okay, so you're located in the Kalinago Territory. All right. And my telephone number is 225-9405. 9405 can call me directly or you can send me a WhatsApp message. Okay. So persons that are interested, maybe they're coming down, you know, and they're passing through the Kalinago territory, maybe they're doing a little day trip, going to the restaurant, they can reach out to you and say, hey, I'm in the territory, can you provide some cocoa balls or some cocoa sticks or some oil for me, please? Awesome. It's not the pure bay oil itself, it's in fused in coconut oil. It's in fused with coconut, okay. Yes. It can be used for paint and I, I actually started using it as a repellent because in the Kalinago territory and in some other areas in Dominica, we have an influx of the moving the sun flies. The sun flies, yes. right. So I created that as a protection. And so it can be used as a repellent as well. A local repellent. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for showcasing your products. All right. And it is very exciting here today to see the local businesses that are being showcased. And we're going to move across to some other businesses that we have here. And I'm seeing the beautiful lady of Fitmen. Fetme Designs. Uh, sorry if I butcher the name, I apologize. I want to say it. Say it for me again. Fetme Designs. Fetme Designs. Okay. So, ladies, can you tell us about your designs and your products? So, so I am a small business specializing in the creation of accessories, with mainly with textiles and other natural materials. So, I do fascinators like this and my watch. make them all yourself? Yes, they are all handmade. A lot of them are hand stitch. Um, so it's, it's done catering to the customer's specific needs. You can get something customized, exactly like we I also made um, uh, bandos and headbands for children. Um, I do brooches as well. Um, and I make um, birthday pins, funeral pins, baby showers and wedding showers. Pins for every occasion. And the brooches are in fact very beautiful. The pins are beautiful. Everything is beautiful. So you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram at Fenway Design. And you can contact me via WhatsApp or call me on the telephone at 8297. And we're going to show you one of your cards. So all of these are made and crafted by Miss Lebla. She is the CEO and designer of this amazing enterprise and we wish her all the best in her successful endeavors. You know the independent season is coming up. Do not sleep on yourself. You could be rocking this fascinator right now with your gorgeous dress, your gorgeous Creole dress. You know, you go back home or you, you, you're you overseas but you're coming down for this the season. Get your fascinator. Exactly. Listen, Christmas is around the yes, corner. Is around the the corner. grannies, the aunties, and the hot girls yes. are going to be rocking their fascinators. The hot girls in the they're Classy. going to the parliamentary. Classy. Exactly. Yes. The parliamentary proceedings. When they come back, we're gonna have the girls rocking their fascinators from fit men. This come on, man, come yes, on. For sure. Of for course. Sure. Thank you so much. So reefs and centerpieces as well. Yes. So okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. And we are moving across, and we just want.
want to highlight more of the entrepreneurs that are here and we have Tila V Natural and the uh, proprietor of Tila V Natural she's right with us how are you today okay can you tell us a little bit about your business so my name is Tatiana Lavin. Tatiana Lavin. I'm the owner of Tela V Natural. So we focus on natural herbal products, especially coconut oils. We love coconut oil, so we do a lot of things with coconut oil. We sell to the local supermarkets, we ship to the USA and the USA. We also do the coconut oil capsules. Many people consume coconut oil in different forms. In the hair, on the skin, people they, they drink it every day. So we do capsules for some people who don't like the taste, but they you know they love the products but they just but they don't like the taste. So we also do the the heat press, it's non-virgin. We have it in different sizes, cater to different people. A lot of our oils are shipped to the US. So during the cold winter seasons, they people purchase the jars. That way it's easier for them to be able to store when the oil is solidified. We're also gonna get into coconut soaps. Different type of soap we'll be doing so what we will be doing soon. We try our best to consume or use the whole coconut. So from the coconut shells, Have to so with this charcoal now, it's safe to consume charcoal powder, it absorbs toxins from the body, and it also has anti-white whitening. You can also use it as soaps on your body, so it's very safe to use, and it has a lot of benefits for it. We also make the clove oil, it's diluted with virgin coconut oil. We also do moringa products. This is a moringa seed. Moringa is also known as the tree of life. It purifies the seed, purifies water. It is safe to consume one seed a day. If you want to purge, take a purge out, you can consume five moringa seeds and it will help purge you out. We also, use, we also utilize the leaves of the seeds. We dry it, we process and put it in capsule form. The powder can be used as seasoning for your food. You can also use moringa powder or moringa leaves to make smoothies. Right. This here is the packaged moringa seeds. Like I said, the, the, our customers, they love moringa. They love the benefits. This is here is a book where it details many different things that you can use, you can consume the products and the benefits of wearing the products. We also do castor oil. This is our hair growth oil. And it's oil. Yes. It's packed with many different oils and herbs locally. And the oils are made by us. And it's not tied to your hair. It's very good for your hair. So Taylor be natural. You can reach out to Miss Tatiana Laville. This is the contact information. They're located in Montana. So we can get your products, which is Smart, Zepoyol, to connection. Okay. So again, we want to highlight. It's amazing. It's amazing oil to consume. And if you are self-conscious about what you put into your bodies or on your skin, try coconut oil. Taylor V Natural. Taylor V Natural. Yes. Awesome. Thank yes. you so much. Here, you can see the clarity of the oil. That is the clarity of your coconut oil. Yes. Taylor V Natural. Amazing. The personal orders and personal orders are available as well. So we've got the moringa seeds for cleansing your body. We've got the 
coconut oil, you can get it in pill form, you can get it in the solidified form if you live in the colder regions of the world. You can get it with the hair growth oil, which is honestly so amazing. Wow. So no, more products are coming in. Yes. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much, Tatiana. All the best, okay? All right. I'm looking forward to seeing what Taylor V Naturals has in store because, quite frankly, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna circle back for those moringa seeds. Yeah, and you should too. And now uh, we've got the experts from Peak Investments and we heard from them earlier today when they spoke in this session but you know we're here with them as well as uh, Amedic Inc and other businesses that are here. So hi Miss Peak Investments, how are you? How are you doing today? Are you excited? Because listen, I know that a lot of persons are excited to hear what Peak Investment has in store for small businesses and entrepreneurs here in Dominica. So can you tell us a little bit more about Peak Investments? Investments, of course, we are here to lend support to small businesses in advancing their business, finding out exactly what we're in areas that they should, of course, venture into, areas, products that they should advance, products that they should um, actually increase production in. And we, we also get involved, of course, as I mentioned, in math research, where we are safe persons. Of course, let us do the surveys for you, let us do the questionnaires, let us do product testing for you, and let us get you know the hassle in trying to tell customers your product is the best product and why. Let us do the why. And so, of course, Big Invest is also involved in property management. And of course, we are welcome in developing a concept for you, developing a, you know, your, your, your land, you piece of your lot that is into something that is of this value. We are involved in, of course, other areas that includes people, you mentioned people, that's training, capacity building, of course, uh, sustainable finance and many other areas to advance your business. So basically, as a business owner and entrepreneur, I should just come and check out Peak Investments to ensure that my business is up to par? Yes. Oh, amazing. Amazing. And talk to us, talk to us. As I said, we offer non-financial services, and that is a big investment. We, we invest in people. We invest in people. I like that. We save the environment, and we create, we help you create wealth. So that's what we are about. Thank you so much. So Peak Investment is there to invest in you, your business, and ensure that you are protecting the environment and creating wealth for yourself, your family, and the generations to come. And we love to see the amazing opportunities that they are creating here in Dominica and in the Caribbean for our business sector. If you want to contact Peak Investments, you need to reach out to them. And of course, we want to showcase their card. So, peak investment. We bring smiles because listen, when you are saving the planet, running a successful business, and making money, you're gonna be smiling. I, I, I can, I can, I can see that. I can see where it comes in. So again, this is the contact information. Please check out Peak Investments. They are located at 23 Great Marlborough Street in Roseau. You can contact them at 265-6070 and as well email and their website peakinvestmentsda.com. Alright, and thank you so so much. We really appreciate you speaking with us and we know that the business owners here need to get, they need to circle by, for sure. Alright, thank you so much. Side Hotel, which has one of, if I might say, one of the most fancy and amazing tasting food in the restaurant downstairs. So can you tell us a little bit about Riverside? Okay, 
Riverside actually changed to a hotel mm -hmm. after the hurricane. Before the hurricane, um, there was just a restaurant, and um, there was one of the restaurants and um, rooms for students. However, we all know what happened after the hurricane. Ross University left, and uh, management decided to change into the hotel. So we have gone into the hotel. Mm -hmm. We have um, presently we have um, 15 rooms, and we also have uh, kitchen. Not the kitchen, you know, the restaurant downstairs. We have a Riverside International restaurant downstairs, so you can get your food. And you can dine in one of our rooms, our spacious rooms. This is what the front of the hotel looks like. And we also have another component, which is our electrical component. Electrical components have different lights. So if you're thinking of changing your lights, then you can get. But if you're thinking of building and have no idea what lights, you just come down to Riverside. Wow. So Riverside is one of the businesses in Dominica that is dipping their toes into multiple areas of business. But again, you are seeing the quality, the restaurants, the hotel, and the lighting and fixtures. It's yes, amazing. Yes. Wow. Come see. Come see. Come and see. There's something for everybody at Riverside. And we're going to... There's something for everybody for true. Eh? Yes. So let me just show you all the card for Miss Cynthia Victor, who is the assistant manager and human resource personnel. And make sure you check out Riverside. Thank you so much, Miss Victor. All the best for the ventures of Riverside in the future. Who knows, we might have even get an amusement park later on. Okay, you never know, even if you come from there, you should get some extension. Uh, you can build some of the ends, which will be used some time later. All right. Welcome um, to the structure has already begun. Awesome, love to see it. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, this is called the presenters. Well, I can say that this is one of the most beautiful rooms in the agency. Tom Modeling Agency is owned by Karima Peter and Hi, how are you, Miss Peter? I'm good, how are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Excited to see what camp is all about. Talk to us. Okay, so camp is a modeling agency. Not just about fashion modeling, but it's also, it also deals with youth development. Youth development. Right. So we have a syllabus that we go from camp where you can come, register, and then three month curriculum with us. A three month curriculum. Right. Okay. So these are a little bit of the highlights that is part of the syllabus, but these are not the actual programs on the syllabus. It's just to give you a little insight as to what, as to what you get right. enrolled in. If you open okay. the, the booklet, you can, be, you can get a little bit of a welcome. About as to what camp is about right here. Mm -hmm. It tells a little bit about it, what the name stands for. This is fashion shows that we have done. Right. These are events that we have done where we do the jazz fringe events mm -hmm. as well. So we just want to make it a little more, a little bit more about what we do at camp. Okay. Um, also, we have the purpose why we created camp. We saw the lack with the youth. So we decided to create camp to help to restore the, mini, the meaningfulness as to what the youth are supposed to be doing in society, right. what they represent, because that's right. our future. And if we allow them to come and to right. become deviants, then what is the purpose? Right. Of it's it's a, a creative outlet right. as well, I think, you know, managing your aesthetics, your etiquette, those kinds yeah, of things are important, of course. And you know that there are different types of etiquette, so we do different types of training for etiquette. Mm -hmm. So we do business etiquette as well as personal etiquette, which includes hygiene and so forth. And these are just a few of the topics that we do. So it's a very interesting business. It is. It is something that we really want funding for. Right. Because we realize that we have been doing this from since 2016. Right. And we, we have not given up on it at all because we see the relevance of it. 
we have persons that we have motivated, that we're members of camp, that we're motivated to pick, become what they need to be, what they want to be, what they desire to be. Because of nurses that are at our hospitals today, we were members of camp, who were influenced and motivated by camp to go ahead and run the nursing program. I myself was motivated by they becoming nurses to go along and do nursing, the nursing program as well. So right now I'm a student nurse. Wow, and okay. I am urging the public to engage the youth because this is something that is lacking in our, yes. in our community. And this is my way of getting the youth engaged and getting them to develop themselves, prepare themselves for the professional work, um, world of work, for work as well, as just a, a, not just personal grooming. Yes, you know, and personal development, speaking, right. Public speaking and representing other companies where you can be brand ambassadors for companies and stuff like that. If you're into fashion and you're into pageantry, we also shop around for that. So there are different aspects to it as well. So we do a little bit of voice training, of public speaking, you know, body language techniques and stuff like that. So there's a lot actually in this little business. So we call it CAMP, K-A-M-P. It's actually, the initials for that, is, it actually means Paramount Agency of Model Paragon. Now a lot of us ask, what is Paragon? It's just basically imperfection. So we try to help persons to be the best you, influence, relate and develop themselves. Right. To become that representation, that representation we need as a self, as an individual, as well as a person for a business or even for the country. Right. So, so it's something you can go with. Again, it is a part of our creative industry. It's, I think, you know, emphasizing the importance of building your soft skills just as much as your your hard skills. You know, making products and goods and stuff is one aspect of it. But I think this is a very unique take on developing the creative industry in Dominica. Thank that is really amazing. Yes. We also, when we do events, we also do events. We do events with the marketing edge, which is the business that is behind the marketing business that is behind the camp from the very get go. And the way that we do events, we do it in a way that we promote local. So if you look at the, the photos in here, everything here is local. Mm -hmm. So down to the artwork or us to do what we wear to showcase in the fashion, in the, in the fashion show, is actually done by somebody local. So this is a handbag here, for example, the pants, the jewelry, is all done by Crystal Hilton. This is what the model is wearing here, the neck piece, the earrings, the handbags, the what her wear is also Crystal Hilton. So this, the, the, the wear is actually from a, a collection called the Milk and Honey Collection. Milk and Honey Collection. Right. Wow. We also work with artists like Sadrak Wilton and so on. Sadrak has done live paintings at our events. Right. In 2017 we did a jazz persuasion event mm -hmm. where he did a live painting. And from since then, I have seen that person has gravitated to do live painting at events. So we know we're doing something right. For sure. So this For is something sure. that you can urge other businesses to sponsor because we do voluntary programs where we go to elderly persons and provide elderly care as well. Mm -hmm. Now that COVID is basically going down the drain, we can go back to doing the elderly care program and doing some community work and help to develop the little things in the community. So this is something that is interesting that you should look us up. Of course. Look us up. And call and register or get persons registered involved. Of course. This is something that is meaningful. Right. It's about developing yourself. I love it. I love it. That is very amazing. Thank you so much, Miss Peter. And of course, we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. We look forward to your future events and we look forward to seeing what your students, your future students, are going to do. Two of them are already nurses. Two of them are already nurses. And one is amazing. Amazing. I have the opportunity, I would like to promote Cynthia, Mrs. Cynthia Victor from Portsmouth. She does floral designs and she does very lovely bouquets, natural bouquets and natural floral arrangements. So if you can maybe zoom in on the number, for sure, for sure. zoom in on the number a bit, then you can get her information. So you can contact her for your wreaths, for your bouquets and so on. On Saturday, she is usually outside of the Fresh Market promoting herself. Promoting herself at yes. Fresh Market. Again, highlighting and shouting out the businesses is a 
amazing part of personal development, you know. And it's amazing to see the lovely ladies and gentlemen who are promoting their businesses here at the Business to Business Forum. We look forward to seeing more in store. We're going to take a little break right now, but we will be resuming very shortly and we're going to be highlighting some other businesses here at the Ministry of Tourism, International Transport and Maritime Initiatives Business to Business Forum. This is Emonu signing out for now. Join us again shortly. We will be back very soon.